Okay, now this is not a proper book review, but kind of more of just fascinating trivia about this particular book. And uh, I'm sure some of you out there have read this. Uh, one of you recommended The Bluegrass Conspiracy, and this pairs nicely with The Bluegrass Conspiracy. But I'm, this is one that uh, I'm going to have to come back to just because I need to have my brain in the right place to go over some of the finer details of this. But uh, Barry and the Boys is about Barry Seal and, of course, his um, all of his connections to uh, intelligence agencies and organized crime and and the cocaine dealings and the uh, of course the uh, Iran Contra connection. Now this was uh, by Daniel Hopsicker and this is from let's see and this date is is going to be important here in just a second. Like I said this is not I, I those of you, if you've got this book, please comment on this video because I'd love to hear your take on this. So this is a copyright of 2001. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is the copy I just picked up at Half Price Books. And this is a copy that I picked up. Um, actually, a, uh, a few years ago. And this is the same edition, but evidently this is why I wanted to dig this out because this copy I bought on Amazon um, probably 10 years ago. And this copy has from page 381 to 397 cut out. And you can actually see the pages down here where it's been cut out. And some of the names have been literally just blacked out with a marker where it it leads ends the end of this chapter leading into this chapter they just literally marked out the names and they put this note in it and this is is i'm curious if anybody else has this book and got this particular note it says a chapter was removed from this book because of the cost of litigation free speech is free as long as you have the money to defend it daniel hopsicker and that was in here in this section um, now, the other day, I was at Half Price Books in Dallas, and I saw that they had this book. So I thought, huh, that's interesting. And of course, they had it behind a, 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 a glass, a locked glass in a locked glass case. So you had to ask one of their alert uniformed attendants for the key. So I had them come over and check, and lo and behold, this does not have the chapter cut out of it. So... I haven't read it yet, but I'm eager to read the missing chapter, and then I can then I can do a proper book review of the entire book. Um, but I'm curious if any of you have this book and have yours with the chapter intact. With that, the chapter is titled um, the chapter right before is Trinity is my name too, and then it ends with. Uh, a few redacted names. And the chapter 35 is Don't Shoot, I'm with Trinity Energy. So evidently there's some names in here. And one of the names that was um, that was literally just blacked out of my copy is um, Dale Wamstad. Dale W-A-M-S-T-A-D. So evidently that name was incendiary enough that it warranted this entire chapter being cut out of the book. Um, so very interesting book about, uh, again, about the uh, Barry Seal cocaine dealing fiasco. Lots of good information about uh, Mena, Arkansas and all the connections therein. Uh, but really interesting that that whole chapter actually got cut out of the book. So, um, and I'm that much more happy now that I have one with the chapter left intact. So again, any of you who have read this and if your book has that chapter cut out or not, I'd love to hear about that and hear any thoughts that you might have on this. Because again, this is definitely one of the more definitive books on the whole Mena, Arkansas, um, uh, Bill Clinton, cocaine saga and all that. So I will leave it there.